family, it's Marlika with another episode of Essence Check, a series where I try and review wines based off the scope, the smell, and the sip, helping you find out what you like in your wine. So let's get to the heart of it. So today, I'm going to be trying Val do Sosego Alvarinho <laughs> from Ria Spicious Child. On the front of the bottle, it says Albarino Valdoso Sego, Ria Spaixas Denominacion de Origin. And this is how Spain likes to denote their certain growing areas and their standards. And on the back of the bottle, we have Valdoso Sego white wine, Ria Spaixas, produced in a state bottled in Spain, imported by Serenity Import, with an alcohol by volume of 12.5. Albarino is a white grape most commonly found in Ria Spicha, Spain. So that's northwestern of the Iberian Peninsula. You're going to get a lot of ocean influence, very breezy sea, low lying vineyards, sandy soil. Just think as beachy and as breezy as you could be, but it's also going to be pretty cool. You'll get notes of green apple, pineapple, very citrusy, light, and some salty breeziness to it, too. So some minerality. For a serving temp, I put this in my fridge and we're going from fridge to glass. I want this as cold as possible because it's going to be a very tart and fresh and light style wine. Ideal serving temperature around 50 degrees. So by the time you take it out the fridge, open it, put it in the glass for a little while. Balance itself out. I have my handy dandy Corvin back in action. It's not Chardonnay, but it's an everyday. So let's get into it yellowy pale gold with 14 karat <laughs> 14 karat hay no bubbles and legs are looking very light so you're gonna assume she's not as heavy as some other ones so first smell pretty pronounced I, I, I kind of bring my nose close to the glass and it's like Ooh. there's the fruit fresh pineapple And some like orange peels, but like a sweet, light, underripe orange peel. And some juicy Granny Smith apples. Seashore stones. It's not giving me like tropical ocean sea breeze. It's giving more the beach that forms naturally from a waterfall. You've got the smell of the stone, the fresh water. A little bit of saltiness, but it's not necessarily ocean. Go for a sip. A dry wine, but not stripping. Juicy acidity, my mouth is salivating. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I feel like when I just on one beach sip this, yeah. That apple is so tasty. I'm still getting that apple and pineapple. It's a little bit more juicy green apple. Fresh orchard fruit. A little bit more of that salinity, so that salty sea breeziness. I'm definitely getting that. It's really cool because it balances out between you get these really juicy pineapple, green apple <laughs> notes, and it's like the orange peel is very subtle to kind of bring it back down from all that acid. And then you have these nice coastal, cool, breezy elements to the wine. There's some like sweet flowers too, so like some white blossoms. Ooh. Mmm. A little bit more medium. It's not as light as my Pinot Grigio or Riesling. She does have a little bit more of a creaminess, but it's not creamy, if you would say. Somewhere between light and medium. I'm being transported to the sea and like tropical, really fresh fruit. It's not too hot out. It's very calming making me excited for the warmer weather because it's spring this makes me want some pasta like a shrimp scampi oh yeah with a little bit of kick you know I like my heat I'm gonna throw some chili flakes in my shrimp scampi bump up that heat even a pasta primavera very fitting for le saison lots of veggies because you do get that earthier non-fruit with the minerality, so that's nice with your veggies, but enough tropical flavors with the fruit. High acid, great for your cream, great for your fast, great for your heat. For my everyday, not 
not Chardonnay pairing. I would say this with some lo mein too. Ooh, girl. Usually you get the lo mein combination platter with the pork fried rice and egg roll. Hey, baby! Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. It's so yummy. It has a really cool bottle <laughs> at the bottom, I'm not gonna lie. Like, look at that. And it gives you like that leafy, mountainous, you know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching today. I hope you learned something and that if you didn't, you at least enjoyed yourself. Make sure you're following her plates for all things food, wine, and love. Until next time. Cheers. go to the beach. Me want hang by the creek. Me want my feet.